let's start to talk about another common term used called delegation. In Windows 2000, the concept of delegation of authentication was there, but users passed their ticket granting ticket or their primary ticket that they get when they first log on. That is passed to the service to facilitate this delegation. So they take that ticket granting ticket and on behalf of the user, they say, this is who I am, let me go to the next step or authenticate to this other box. Given that they had that master ticket, there was no way to whittle that down. Now in Windows 2003, they began to allow the use of the actual service ticket itself, meaning once I uh, request access to a specific service and am given that access, then that particular ticket is given as the ability to impersonate. Uh, that's called constrained delegation. And in Windows 2000, it only had for non-constrained delegation. Now in 2003, you can use constrained delegation, uh, and a lot of people do. And I think that one of the things you'll be able to see more clearly as you look into ADSI, edit, etc., there is a property called allowed to delegate to and that's where this delegation is whittled down but you'll kind of see that more as you dig in protocol transition now this is an important piece as well and it's important to understand what your options are here and when they need to be used let's take the situation where you have a front-end server and let's just say it's a web server in this case now your users need to connect to it and it needs to go to the next step and impersonate those users. Uh, by default your best option is obviously going to be Kerberos but given that that web server may be a, behind a firewall you may not be able to open those ports for authentication. So what you can do is have that server transition from one authentication protocol to another protocol. So let's say that that first transition is a regular IIS based uh, authentication protocol. That server can then go to Active Directory on your behalf and request uh, that Kerberos type of authentication. And that's, that's an important piece and it's important to understand that it's only available to you when you're using constrained delegation. So if you use protocol transition, by default you have to use constrained delegation.